Hello students, welcome to another lesson of business studies. In today's lesson, we are going to study the important components or elements of staffing. There are basically three components of staffing, recruitment, selection and training. First of all, let us understand what is recruitment. Recruitment means attracting more and more candidates to apply for the vacant job positions in the organization. That means when there is a vacant job position in a company, you try to attract the candidates to apply for the available job position by notifying the general public. You notify the public so that people will apply for it and you will get the right person for your company. In general words, recruitment means searching for candidates to apply and come forward for filling the vacant roles. So there are two sources through which recruitment can be done in the organization. Internal source of recruitment and external source of recruitment. So let us understand what is internal source of recruitment. So by the word internal source, we can easily understand that in this process, the recruitment is done internally. That means within the organization itself. We don't go out of the organization searching for the candidates. Under internal source, the vacant job positions are filled by attracting the existing employees of the organization and not the outsiders. So under the internal source, there are two methods through which the recruitment is done. One is transfer and the other one is promotion. Now transfer means shifting of employees from one job position to another at the same level. That means the employees are transferred in the same rank only, but just the job position changes. There are no changes in the compensation, that is the salary, and the authority, that is the power. Everything remains the same, just that the employees are transferred from one place to another, only the place of working changes. For example, transfer of a clerk from accounts department to the purchase department. The second method is promotion. Promotion refers to shifting of employees from one job position to another with a higher level of authority. So in promotion also, the job position of the employees get shifted, but the uh, employees get shifted to a level of higher authority. In promotion, the authority level, the rank and also the responsibilities of the employees get improved or increases. With the promotions, the compensation or salary also increases. Now let us understand what is external source of recruitment. So by the word only, we can understand that external recruitment is done outside the organization. That means we recruit or bring the outsiders for the job position. When the candidates from outside the organization are invited to fill the vacant job position, then it is known as external recruitment. So basically whenever large number of vacant job positions are available, the external recruitment is preferred. So there are some methods through which external recruitment is done. The first one is direct recruitment. Sometimes the organizations paste notice at the gate of their office or factory regarding the vacant job positions. The people who are interested in those jobs walk in for the interview. This is called direct recruitment because here the company is directly inviting the candidates to apply for the job. The second method is casual callers. Generally, 
what happens in, is that the large organizations maintain a file in which they keep all the applications of the candidates who wants a job. This application file is considered as a waiting list. So as soon as the job position gets vacant, the organization opens that application file and the suitable candidates from the waiting list are called. The third one is advertising. This is the most common and popular method where the company advertises about the job position. The organizations select a media of advertisement. The media of advertisement can be newspapers, televisions, uh, social media, etc. depending on the requirement of the job position. The next one is employment exchanges. Now, employment exchanges means the place where the job seekers leave their biodata and the details about their qualifications. So when there is any job position in the organizations, that means the vacant job positions, it approach the uh, employment exchanges and the suitable candidates are sent for the uh, job position. And the last one is campus recruitment. Sometimes what happens is the senior managers of the organizations visit various professional colleges to get fresh graduates. Through campus recruitment, the organizations select the fresh candidates and recruit them.